welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today we're gonna to make soap using this fragrance from Brambleberry. It's called Christmas Spice. Oh man, this smells so delicious. It's buttery and it's got all those bakery scents to it. It kind of smells like um, coffee cake with cinnamon in the oven. It's a very warm sort of holiday scent. The only issue is <laughs> it says causes mild acceleration. Well, my red flags go all over the place when I see mild acceleration. Anytime I bought a fragrance oil, not just from Brambleberry, any distributor, and it says mild acceleration, I've had anywhere from soap on a stick to complete seize to you better get moving. I've not soaped with this before. It says mild we're going to hope that it goes mild. Um, so what my plan is, is that I'm going to take a little portion of the soap batter and leave it unscented <laughs> so that I can do a little something on top just for a color pop in there. And I will do the base of the soap is all going to be because it does have vanillin with those delicious bakery scents. You know, you've got the vanillin. It's going to discolor a bit. Um, I'm going to use gingerbread brown mica in the base of it. We'll get that put in and blend it up and pull off a little. I might put some TD in there and we'll see. I'm going to add the fragrance last. We'll get it in the mold. And if I'm able to do a hanger swirl, I'll use some of that unscented uh, soap batter to do a swirl. If not, I'll just save it for the top and maybe do like little cream dollops. And it might look like a gingerbread cookie with a dollop on top. <laughs> I just, every time I've ha used a soap fragrance that has a warning about mild acceleration. I'm very cautious. Let's see how it goes. Hey, come along with me. This could be a beautiful or it could be a complete uh, disaster, which will be entertaining anyway, right? So <laughs> it'll be a win-win no matter what. I think what uh, I my additive today to make this extra special because it's foodie is I will add some heavy cream powder with my dry ingredients when I do the you know additives in the oils. We'll do cream powder in there too just to go along with the foodie theme of this. So whew, let's get everything ready to go and come back <laughs> and make some Christmas spice and hopefully it won't behave too badly because it smells amazing. So I'm hoping that it will be worth it. So. Let's make All some right, soap. It's time to add our additives into the oils. And so here is my heavy cream powder. And I'm going to do two tablespoons of that along with my regular kale and clay and colloidal oats just because I love it. And uh, this is a nice heaping two tablespoons. So FYI, this is a coffee scoop. Most uh, grocery stores, you can find a coffee scoop. And if you do, they're normally two tablespoons. So they make the perfect soap additive scoop. So there's a tip on that. All right, we got the cream in there. Let's get the rest in, get this all blended up, <laughs> and we will get moving forward and hope that this does not become soap on a stick. Hope that the words mild acceleration are true and that it really is just mild acceleration. Oh boy, let's get to it. It is time to get moving forward. Let me tell you what I've got going on here. Um, first, I have the mica, that gingerbread brown, dispersed in just a little bit of sunflower oil here so that it's already blended up a little for a smoother blend in here uh, so that I don't have to over stir. So a little pre-blending will help. So that's off to the side. I have some little sugar pearls that I think are just beautiful. So I'm gonna sprinkle those down on top if I can, <laughs> if everything goes well. That's my plan is to use up these little sugar pearls because they just kind of, they look how this fragrance smells. I've got my fragrance off to the side, ready to go later as needed. And let's talk about the lye solution here. It's kind of white. And that is because uh, my, my lye solution has my normal additives, which is cane sugar, tussa silk fibers, and sodium lactate. And when it was still very hot, I went ahead and added a half a teaspoon of water-soluble TD in here so that the whole batch, just to kind of combat the vanillin in the fragrance and to keep everything on the more toasty brown side and not just like dark chocolate. So, so that is why I put it in here. Now I will also be adding a little extra TD in the unscented portion that I pull off for a nice bright white. I've got my hanger tool off to the side. 
in case it's fluid enough where I can do a little hanger swirl. And if it's not, we're just gonna dollop the top with the white um, frosting, you know, we'll do something with the top that's unscented. But I'm hoping I can get a little swirl in here. That is my hope. There's only one way to find out, you know, we've got to dive right in here. So let's get the lye in here and I will be mostly stirring this to get up to an emulsion. Uh, I'm not gonna blend a lot. I want a very good emulsion, but no trace yet, not even a light trace before I split it off and get the color blended. So as minimum blending as I can get away with. Which means I will be stirring with my stick blender and not blending a lot. I might pulse a few times, but mostly I'm gonna be stirring here with this. So hand stirring to emulsion is the goal. And that is looking beautiful. So I stop stirring. If I don't see any oil rise to the top, I will call that emulsion. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour off here into my little pot for my white portion, an unscented portion. Not a lot, but just enough to do a little something with if we get the opportunity. All right, All right. here's my shaker bottle of TD. I'm gonna get that in here and just set this off to the side and this will just wait until we deal with the fragrance oil here. So first things first, let's get this lovely gingerbread brown mica in here. Again, I'm just stirring this in. I have not turned my stick blender on yet at this point. It's all just hand stirring. So, we've got that in there. All right, it's go time. Let's get the fragrance in and see how we do. All right, so I'm very happy to report it did not speed up at all. In fact, it's so fluid when I poured it, I did not actually even have emulsion. And so, <laughs> check out this. In all desperation, I went and threw the stick blender right in the mold. And you know what? It came out fine. I just, once it was down in there, I blended until I was absolutely sure I had a light trace and a good emulsion. And so that worked out a little funky, but hey, you know what? We do what we can. So let's move on. the next day <laughs> and uh, that was interesting. This did not speed up, um, but I had several things in place to help it not speed up, which aided and uh, really helped this behave beautifully. I am so tickled with how it came out. It smells fantastic. Don't those tops look scrumptious? <laughs> I love it. And uh, blending in the mold. You know what? We'll talk about that when we, get, uh, when we get into the cutting. We'll talk more about how this went down. But let's get in there and see how those swirls came out. I'm so excited that we got to do a swirl in here. So let's get into it.
with the lovely Olga to get into these. I love that little fluffy top on there. It's so cute. And let me tell you, when I sliced into these, as soon as I started splitting the loaves, uh, the, the fragrance just blossomed. It's very, very nice. It's like, yeah, I don't know. It really is Christmas kind of bakery scented, kind of gingerbready. Um, it's just yummy is what it is. So let's see how these little swirls came out on the inside. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. So pretty. And now let's talk about <laughs> what I ended up doing there uh, with this batter. So let me tell you a couple of things. So I had everything sort of set and ready to go for an accelerating fragrance. Uh, I put the fragrance in last step. I had the colors dispersed in oil for easy blending so I didn't have to over blend and all of those cautious steps I was soaping at a cooler temperature about 80 degrees Fahrenheit is what I was soaping at um, and all of that in place and when I poured the base color into the mold it got a little applesauce looking and that means that I didn't have a full emulsion so I, <laughs> you saw it I just stuck my stick blender right in the mold and blended it in there you know that's one of the fun things about soap is you can get creative sometimes and come up with workable solutions well there you go and I got it up to a nice trace and it still didn't really speed I would not call it a fast trace um, so thank you Brambleberry for your accurate description, it was maybe a mild accelerant, but because I took some precautions and had everything ready and added the fragrance in last, I really didn't have an accelerating issue. I mean, look at, I poured this white in at the last and it went all the way down to the bottom and it swirled beautifully. I am just tickled and this fragrance is delightful. So thumbs up from me. Let's keep cutting. All right, on to our next loaf. I'm just so tickled with how the sprinkles kind of come out with the color and some of the main spices that I'm getting are not cinnamon and which is surprising uh, usually when you have like a spice scent for a bakery scent you'll have cinnamon will be it can be very dominant and almost kind of overload this doesn't have that at all to me it smells more like nutmeg which is beautiful it's, it's just a very warm fragrance and I'm picking up nutmeg. So instead of calling this Christmas spice, I'm thinking about calling it Christmas cookies or gingerbread maybe. It has that sort of nutmeggy gingerbread vibe to it. I'm still thinking about the name, but really, really love how the fragrance blossoms when I cut into it. This was a fun one to make. And a little challenging, you know, trying to anticipate a possible speed up of trace. Good to keep you on your toes. I really enjoyed making this. It was, it was fun. All right, last loaf. And I figured we'll just talk, kind of recap. What can you do if you have a fragrance that you know is a mover? So I think the very first place to start is your base recipe. Uh, I would suggest a recipe that has more than 50% liquid oils versus hard butters and oils. So maybe a 55 to 60% liquid oil to the hard butters ratio or more. That helps uh, soaping at cooler temperatures. Helps with a fast moving fragrance. Um, having your colors pre-blended so that you don't have to over blend the soap batter. So having all of your colors dispersed in oil, um, hand stirring as much as possible, and then adding your fragrance at the very last minute. Those are some ways to deal with a fast moving fragrance. If you have any other tips, share them in the description box below. Let us all learn from each other. If you have a pro tip on how to handle a fragrance that you know can be a bit of a stinker, no pun intended, <laughs> um, share it down below. I'd love to hear some of your ideas too for how you handle fast moving fragrances. But this one actually wasn't so bad and uh, it smells delightful. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button and the subscribe and bell for notifications and all that good stuff. Plus I'm over on Instagram if you haven't found me there yet. Thank you again for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day.